You know, no one really likes to go to the doctor. No one likes to go for a medical checkup. They're just usually not fun. One reason is we don't like hospitals and doctors. Let's be honest. Number two, we're afraid they're going to find something out that might change our lives. Well, today, leaders, we're going to do a leadership health checkup. So stick around. Hi, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. You know, I've got 25 years as a leader, motivational speaker, professional sports broadcaster, and as a pastor. Now, when I was going at my top game, I was going at Mach 5 all the time. I was going so fast, my hair singed off. Actually, I was going so fast, eventually one day I was stopped in my tracks and I was told, you're dying of liver disease. Now, leaders, we have to realize we can keep going and going and we might eventually hit the wall or we can stop and pause and get serious about our health. I'm not just talking about our physical health. That's one thing we're going to talk about. But there's a lot of other areas of health for a leadership that we need to learn, evaluate, and maybe make changes in. Now, as we get going today, I want to ask you, subscribe to my channel. Follow along with the leadership tips, public speaking tips, and, of course, defying the odds of life as we talk about those right here on my channel. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell to make sure you never, ever miss anything that pops up here. And give me a comment down below. As we get going today, answer this question. Evaluate yourself from 1 to 10. How am I doing as a healthy leader? Am I doing really well, number 10? Or am I really unbalanced in some areas of my life? And maybe we might point one out to you today as we talk about it. So let's get wrong with number one on my list is physical health. Obviously, physical health is very, very important. But as leaders, we often get rolling so fast. We don't take time to realize we're not doing anything to really take care of our bodies. We're grabbing a little snack lunch from the vending machine. We're chugging down coffee faster than we can make it. And we aren't getting enough sleep to stay healthy and balanced. Leaders, you are doing your organization no good. You are doing your team no good. Your churches are suffering because you are not physically healthy. Make sure you stop and evaluate how are you doing physically. Now, the second one is your financial health. That's right. Pull out your checkbook right now. Go online and check your bank account. Let's see how you're doing financially. As a leader, we often pour ourselves into everything we do, including financially. And there's a point to risk and a point to invest, but there's a time when that becomes unbalanced and you have nothing. You are imbalanced in how you are leading, spending, purchasing, acquiring things, and you could go bankrupt go bust as a family, as a father, as a husband. So you need to stop and evaluate, how am I really doing financially? What's your health checkup? Now, the third one is your marriage. Regardless if you're a husband, a wife, newly married, or in this for a long time, your marriage is vital to everything you do in life. Do not leave your marriage on the table as you leave whatever platform you're involved with. Guard and protect it. Even X out date nights. In fact, when was the last time you went on a date? I know when I was in full-time ministry, my wife and I tried to X out date nights. And sad to say, it really didn't happen enough times. How is your marriage doing? Really evaluate that. The fourth one is your family. That's a direct outgrowth of your marriage. If your husband and wife are doing well, usually the family is doing well. If mom and dad are not doing too good, usually the family will suffer. Look at yourself. When was the last time you went to your son's baseball game or football game? When was the time you sat with your daughter and had a date night with her? Again, from my own experience, you have to carve those times out. And you do not get them back. And sometimes there's a huge pain and a loss that comes by not keeping that healthy in your life. Protect your family even more than you protect your organization and your mission that you are leading. Number five is your learning health. How are you doing 
continuing to advance yourself as a leader? Are you investing in retreats, in books, in CDs? Are you going to conferences to expand your leadership skills, or do you already have a lid on it, and you decide this is as much as I'm going to learn, I've got it all figured out? Your learning is so important to keep you on the cutting edge of whatever industry you are in. Have you become lazy? Kind of put your feet up and coasted? Not learning as an effective leader can be just as dangerous as not being physically healthy as a leader. So there you have it. Five quick health checkups. Go down to the comment bar below. Let me know of those top five, which one? Maybe is the one that you need to do a major re-examination of. And go down below in the description bar. You're going to find yourself a free download that you can get. This download is packed full of the top 10 leadership checkups for your health. That's right. These five are just on the tip of the iceberg. Go down and get this for free and evaluate some more areas of your life that you may not even realize you need to do a checkup on. I hope this has been helpful today. I hope you realize that just being a leader, just achieving the mission is not enough. You do yourself no good if you are unhealthy being a leader. And too many leaders have burned out, flamed out, crashed because they lost health balance in their life. That's going to do it for this week. I'm the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. Thanks for dropping by, and we'll see you next week. God bless.